Hi YouTube, today I wanna share with you my Sojourner Traveler's Notebook in the standard size. It's in caribou leather, and I hope you can see the color. It's a, like a real dark chocolatey brown. And if you're curious, this button is from Summer Wind. I saw uh, Brie from Documented Journey had one on her Traveler's Notebooks, and I, I had to have one. It's so cute. It's a wooden bead that you can string and I'll show you her card. Summer Wind. And here are a couple extras that I bought. Oops. These two beads. This one has like a little etched flower. They're etched and painted. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the detail on this, this little bird. The feathers. And so anyway, they're beads that you can just string through your TN. Okay, so... This is my Sojourner. Let me open it up. It is in the caribou leather, like I said, and it's a stiff leather, and it's one that can be rolled too. I've, I've used this for a little bit, so it's got some scratches on here, and it just adds to the character of it. I think these um, little marks, I don't know if you can see them, I think those are stretch marks, um, but the scratches and stuff, I put on there myself from using it. I, I was trying, I'm trying to prepare myself to use it for next year. Right now I'm in a Hobonichi A5. I'm all over the place right now with my notebooks. I have all sizes and I keep updating them all and I just love them all. I don't know what to carry next year. So I'm, I'm trying to see if I want to make this the one that I carry, like my normal everyday carry for next year. So anyway, that's in the standard size is it has four strings and I don't remember if I already showed you but here's the maker's mark it's the R for Rowena the name of the maker from Sojourner and so how I've been carrying it is with um this is a card holder in the standard size also from Sojourner it's in the nude leather and um it has a card slot right here and two card slots right here, this pocket and then the secretarial pocket here. And so how I plan on doing this is stringing this one to be the first insert here. And I have these little guys from the Coffee Monsters Co. in this little um, plastic, also card holder. And it's got a zippered pocket here. So um, I plan on carrying this here case I, you know, whatever. If I want to carry it as a wallet, I have a card holder here. I have some more called her card holders here. And then the zippered pocket for bills or whatnot. And then I made this insert for it. This, I haven't attached this part of the cover yet. Um, I made uh, four different signatures, I think, or five. Well, I guess I could just turn it around and look. Yes, there's five signatures. I Coptic bound them together. And so I I printed out some monthlies. And then the second one is I made it. I just, well, so I bought a bunch of different printables, but none of them exactly suited what I wanted. So I just kind of hacked them and came up with this. I have, it's kind of like the Hobonichi Weeks, but just bigger. So it's, and I like a Sunday start. So it's Sunday through Saturday and then dot grid on this side. And I left space up here, which one of the planners or the printables that I bought had that already. So I like the idea of being able to put washi up here, decoration on each page. If I want to do or could watercolor or draw. So anyways, it has enough for every week of next year. So I bound them together. And then this eventually I'm going to attach to it. I'm not sure how I want to attach it. If I just want to glue the, the covers on here, I could do that and just keep the, I mean, stiff, or I don't know how it's going to affect this, the opening of it once it's glued on. So I may just keep it just wrapped around until the end of next year. And then I'll just glue it on somehow. So how I plan on carrying this is this, this next string I'll put in the middle of the first signature and then I'll put this string around the last signature, the middle of the last signature. So this is how it would work for me. This is how thick it is. 
And you know, I really, really like this leather. I love it and I don't mind it when I scratch it. I feel like it gives it some nice character. It's nice and smooth. And um, forgive me if there's any glare or shadows. I'm trying to find the best lighting in my house and I found this little corner so I just covered it up with this little blanket. Um, so hopefully that'll work. So anyway, this is it. Um, it's nice and it, it's hold my in, it holds my inserts well, like with everything I have in it. Sorry, I keep getting off frame. So with everything I have in it, there's not much overhang, maybe a little bit on that cover, which really I can take it off and carry it without it until I'm done till next year. But I don't know, maybe I'll keep it on. Depends on how much it gets damaged with the strings or how chunky it gets once I start filling it up with ephemera or pictures or whatnot. But, or I could even take one of these guys out and, but no, I think I like it. I like it just the way it is. So anyway, this is the Caribou Traveler's Notebook from Sojourner. And again, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown cover. The maker's mark here. And again, if you're interested in this, this is the card holder in the standard size. They have them in all different sizes. This is just the standard that fits perfectly in my standard, of course. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share. I got the um, black elastic too. There's no stitching on this at all. It's just, you know, a solid piece of leather. And you can see how this is strung. It's horizontally, not like the Midori that's uh, vertical here or the Traveler's Notebook that's vertical. So this is, it allows, I think, to better fit the four strings in the same size, not like some people have it when it's vertical, one shorter than the rest. I like them all the same size. Anyway, um, that's it. I just wanted, there's not much more I can say about this, but again, if <laughs> this, I know I already said it, but look at this button. It's beautiful and it goes beautifully with this um, cover. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like if you enjoy this video in any form. Um, and comment if you have any questions or anything you want to say about this. Um, have a good day. You too. Bye.